Hello, John Fury. It's Demo Day again. Your worst nightmare. I watched you four months ago standing up, screaming on the stage. Here I am! <laughs> Any man alive with the fight, John Fury, I'm here ready to go. Then I watched your podcast with free bets four months later. A timid shell, a shadow of the man four months previous. So starting off with Joe Egan, how many times do you reckon he's searched for monthly worldwide in Google? Well. And you've wilted. You look the faded, scared man talking on that podcast. Your bully boy antics have been exposed now, John, by a man that's got the balls to stand up to the bully, okay? Now you step up to the mark. You come from good fighting stock. You're a traveling man. Don't be an embarrassment to the traveling community. Don't be an embarrassment to your family name. And don't be an embarrassment to boxing. You talk about going into a barn. As I said before, that's not good business sense, John. Me and you in a boxing ring is good business sense. You've been conducting yourself like a pantomime clown throwing chairs up into the air and screaming abuse at young YouTubers. But well, now it's time to walk the walk, John. As I said many times, you've talked the talk. Now walk the walk. Misfits, KSI, Mams are backing me to fight you. Sit down, negotiate the terms with your lawyer, as they've asked you to do many times, John. Let's get this fight on. People keep asking me why I'm so keen to box you, John. It's not the money. The money is a bonus, John. You went to a premiere of a movie called Price Fighter that I did with Russell Crowe, Ray Winston and Matt Pearce, whose father, Dave Pearce, was the ex-British heavyweight champion. And you went to the premiere. And one of them illustrious company mentioned to you, there's another boxer in the film called Joe Egan. Do you know Joe? I'm supposed to be your friend, John. And instead of you acknowledging me as your friend, you went, Joe Egan is a fraud. Joe Egan is a fake hard man. I've never claimed to be a hard man. Mike Tyson and Lennox Lewis gave me beatings and they've said that I could take a beating. That's all I've ever said about me. I could take a beating. The only fake thing about me, John, is my tan. You've claimed to be a hard man. You personally have claimed to be a hard man. Well, let's see how hard you are now, John. You wilted at the mention of my name boxing you. Imagine if I was to take up your offer and walk into your barn. Imagine how you'd fall apart then, John. Just at the thought of me going into your barn. Let's get into the boxing ring where it's a bit safer for you, John.